How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So the Packers have once again made a roster move involving a Raiders player. It seems like this is just an ongoing thing this season. But earlier this week the Raiders have released Jonathan Abrams and in turn the Packers have put in a waiver claim and we have successfully obtained Jonathan Abram. Now this seems to be one of those typical Goody moves where mid-season he acquires a talent that was kind of just thrown away. He is a first round pick from about four years ago during the 2019 draft and he didn't pan out very well and live up to expectations over there in Oakland. Uh, when talking to a couple of friends that are actually Oakland Raider fans, apparently he is a very, very hard hitter, but he is terrible in coverage. So I'm not really sure how that's going to entirely solve our Darnell Savage problem since so right now Darnell Savage can't cover and he's whiffing a lot this year. I still think that could be a coaching thing on Joe Barry because he was fine under a petting, but Joe Barry, he's just not been able to make a transition to his defense. But this could also be a move in trying to take a flyer on a safety that had high prospects and just didn't pan out. And maybe a change of scenery could rejuvenate him. I mean, we succeeded last year with Devondre Campbell and Rizal Douglas getting a change of scenery and being superstars for us, essentially, and changing this defense which has gone entirely downhill across the board, but also with the unknown injury to Eric Stokes to where it could be season ending. Uh, I haven't heard any more reports of what his current status is or what his true injury is. So as of right now, we could lose Eric Stokes and we're going to need to fill that, which in turn comes to who plays that slot corner if Stokes is no longer there. And of course, Rizal kicks out outside. That would probably bring Darnell Savage or Jonathan Abram, depending on how they look at it, to the slot part or an in-the-box safety. Which could kind of work out for us because Jonathan Abram, if he's inside the box, he is actually a very good player from what I'm seeing. Because if Jonathan Abram ends up playing that slot or he's uh, in the box safety, he actually could have some success, especially since he's very good when he's inside the box and better than, well, playing safety. And if we take a look at his PFF ratings, of course, this isn't all inclusive, but uh, it gives us a good sense of what the player is. Starting in 2019 all the way up to 2022, he's improved his defense going from a 38.7 and he's currently at a 49.5 rating. Last year at a 56.9. His run defense has been a little bit atrocious this year at 43.4 but the Raiders as a team has also kind of underperformed and they haven't been very well kind of similar to us tackling he's consistently been around that 53 to 56 range pass rushing around the 66 so he's got good pass rushing ability and in coverage he's been he's been improving uh, especially after his 2020 year where he's a 30 but he's around a 51.6 and if we're to compare it to Darnell Savage as we see, Darnell Savage's defense is at a 47.6, so a little lower than Abram. His run defense at a 55.8, so a little bit better than Abram's. But that tackling is at a 34.4, which is pretty comparative to what I've been watching from Darnell Savage constantly whiffing on tackles. He is just, I don't know if he's lost confidence, but he's just throwing himself. He's not making good tackles. Pass rush at a 70.8 and in coverage at a 44.7, which also pretty much coincides to what I've seen as he always seems to be getting beat. So this year alone, we can see that Abram is kind of an upgrade on a PFF scale. Who knows how he'll actually play in our system, but on a PFF scale, Abram is a notch better than Darnell Savage. So maybe Abram kicks out the safety and Savage drops down. But as of right now, we don't know exactly what role he'll play, but it seems to be kind of a depth piece as well because of the Eric Stokes injury and the unknowns of how long he could be out if it is season ending. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, go Pack Go!